Hey there, fellow baking enthusiasts. Welcome to the initial episode of this old baker podcast. We're talking about the sweet spot where we're going to dive into the world of baking and share our passion for all things edible. I am your host, Kim Artlip, the owner and creator of this old baker Dot com and today I have something special in store for you. We're going to be talking about scratch baking and why you should be turning to amazing recipes and resources from this old baker.com. So grab your aprons, let's get started on this delectable journey. Now I know the convenience of prepackaged mixes and ready-made dough, and it can be so tempting, but there's something truly magical about the process of scratch baking. Picture this, the scent of vanilla just wafting through your kitchen, that satisfying feeling of flour between your fingers, and the anticipation of watching your creation rise in the oven. That's the essence of scratch baking, my friends. It is a therapeutic and rewarding experience that you just can't get from a box. So why am I so hyped up on scratch baking? It's all about control. When you bake from scratch, you have the power to choose from the finest ingredients, tailor recipes to your taste, and skip those pesky additives found in store-bought mixes. I mean, seriously, if I can't pronounce it, do I really want to put it in my body? Now, a little background about me. Uh, I have had some health issues uh, which affected my liver. And um, I had to clean my diet up a lot and get rid of a lot of the additives that were in a lot of processed foods. So I like being able to know what I'm eating. So let's not forget also that sense of accomplishment when you make something from scratch and you know that it's healthy and you know that you're giving the best to your friends and family, it's like giving them a slice of your heart because you're cooking with love. So let's talk about This Old Baker. If you haven't been on thisoldbaker.com, it is a treasure trove of recipes and you're in for a treat. It's It's more than just a website. It's a community. It's passionate baking, understanding the joy of creating creating something extraordinary with my own two hands. And the recipes are like secret ingredients to unlocking your full baking potential. There is nothing quite like the smell of fresh baked bread and nothing quite like the memories that we create when we bake. Now, you know I'm right. There are certain smells that transport you back. Cinnamon rolls, fresh baked bread, you know, pies that are cooling from the oven, chocolate chip cookies. These are the scents that take me back to childhood, to a simpler time, to watching my grandmother do Sunday dinner and make everything from scratch. Because I'll be honest, uh, my grandmother was a phenomenal baker and cook. My mother couldn't boil water. I mean, I'm telling you what, if it wasn't for my aunts and my grandmother, both of my grandmothers, I'd probably starved to death. I was a scrawny kid because she couldn't cook. But baking opened a door. So I kind of got off course there, but all right. So one of the things I love about doing the old baker, this old baker website is diversity of recipes. Whether you're a beginner looking to master the art of a perfect chocolate chip cookie, or you're more experienced and you just want to conquer something a little bit more intricate or flavorful, I got you covered. From breakfast treats to show-stopping desserts, it's a goldmine for every baking enthusiast. So, um, like I said, um, cinnamon rolls. I'm going to share a little personal story. So, Last weekend, I decided to make my cinnamon rolls. This is my grandmother's recipe. I got this from my grandmother. My grandmother passed many years ago, back in the 90s. But when I smell that cinnamon and warm dough in my kitchen, and I take that first bite, I am transported back in time. And I know I've done something extraordinary. It's not just a recipe. It's a journey. And it's a journey that I can help you start 
on this old baker. Whether you're seeking tips on your bread dough or troubleshooting a cake, you know, ask questions. And we're going to be doing more videos. Um, we're going to be doing more podcasts. There's going to be more tutorials. Um, the website just underwent a major overhaul. And I am adding so much content in here. So just think of me as your baking mentor at your fingertips, guiding you through the highs and lows of your culinary adventure. But let's not forget the heart of any baking community, and that's the people. It's more than a collection of recipes. It's a gathering place from all walks of life. Baking brings us together. It allows you to connect. It allows you to share your success and your challenges. You might even pick up a few tricks of the trade. It's a supportive space that celebrates baking together. Now, some of you might be thinking, now, isn't scratch baking pretty time consuming? I mean, yeah, it's easy if you just drop some water and oil on an egg and in a box and off you go, but are you really getting that investment into your well baking? The act of baking itself is a, to be a sense of mindfulness. It's a therapeutic escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. So consider it not just a culinary adventure, but a journey for the soul. So let me just kind of wrap this up because this is our first episode and I don't want to get too off track. Scratch baking is not just about creating delicious treats. It's about embracing a lifestyle that, quali that values quality, creativity, and the joy of sharing. This old baker is your partner in this journey. Recipes, resources, and a community that makes you feel at home. So I'm going to wrap up this initial episode of The Sweet Spot, and I hope you're inspired to dust off your mixing bowls. Preheat that oven and embark on your own scratch baking adventure. Check out thisoldbaker.com. Let the magic begin. So until next time, happy baking. And may your kitchen be filled with the sweet aroma of success.